Hey guys, Georgia Soundtracks here. This week, we're gonna talk a little bit about why you're doing the installations. Now, over the past few weeks, we've seen quite a few of installations that have been done both by Norman and myself, and we have another few that are coming up down the pipeline. But one of the things we wanna talk about is why. Why do you want to install Soundtracks decoders? Well, we're gonna talk about that today. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start off. I have our steam locomotive here. Now, Soundtracks decoders are a whole lot more than just a whistle and a bell and a chuff. I mean, there's over 50 different sound effects built into the decoder that play based on how you use the locomotive. So every one of those sounds has its own adjustments and capabilities so that you can customize how those sounds play when you're running your locomotive. Now, this is the kind of stuff that sets Soundtracks apart. Anybody can make a random noise generator that just plays random noises in the background. And they do. I mean, heck, you can even get that from a greeting card. But what sets us apart again is that interactive sound. So for example, when I press the function zero key, you'll hear the dynamo spool up as well as the headlight. And again, this is an interactive sound. The headlight effect is set to what's called a dyno light which means it's reliant on the sound of the dynamo, which is a steam-driven electric generator to generate electricity for the steam locomotive so that it can light the light. So we go ahead and turn on F0. And you hear that dynamo spool up. Now, like all the different sounds in Soundtracks decoders, this is selectable, so you have several different dynamos to choose from. Now some of the other sounds that you may hear are things like the steam pop-off and this is what happens when the boiler pressure gets to a certain level. The safety valves here located on the top of the locomotive will actually open and vent that steam so that it prevents damage, explosion to the boiler or worse, so that that way the steam locomotive can safely operate. So one of the sounds we have is Fireman Fred shoveling coal. And you can hear Fireman Fred shoveling coal to feed that hungry fire to keep that boiler pressure up to make sure that the engineer has power when he needs it. Now this is also selectable so that you can choose a auger fed or a coal stoker which will automatically feed the fire using the sounds of a steam pump. You can also turn on an oil atomizer which will take oil from an oil tender and feed it into the fire. You can also select a wood burning locomotive. So when Fireman Fred is shoveling coal, you'll actually hear him throwing wood into an open crackling wood fire. You also have the sound of the injector. Now the injector is how water is fed into the boiler. And so you can actually have these sounds play in the background and in some cases you can actually trigger it. So for the injector we can use function 20 and we can manually feed that injector to feed the boiler with fresh water. And then we turn it off when we're done. Now much like our steam locomotives, our diesel locomotives are much more than a horn, a bell, and a prime mover. Now other sounds you'll have playing in the background are the air compressor and also you'll hear the occasional sound of the air dryer. Now this is a modern appliance that was applied to help keep that compressed air more dry, especially in moist climates. But one of the things that Soundtracks allows you to do is to select that sound so that you can have a modern air dryer or an early poppet valve. So one of the sounds you heard just now was the sound of the air dryer. But now what I can do is I can take CV125, we'll set it to a value of zero, and now you hear that pop it valve. So again, this is selectable so that you can customize the decoder to match your model. Now some of the other sounds you'll hear in the background are the sounds of the radiator fans. You'll hear the air compressor cycle. So if you use your air brakes more frequently, What's happening? Well, you're depleting your air tanks on your locomotive. And so the air compressor will have to cycle to charge up those air tanks back up to the level before you use the brakes. So as you use your brakes, the sounds of the air compressor will trigger more frequently. Again, showing you how the sounds are interactive based on how you're using the locomotive. Now, some of the other sounds you'll hear are Fireman Ed. This is Fred's cousin from the steam locomotive. Fireman Ed, you'll hear other sounds such as air conditioner, You'll actually hear some relay clicks. You'll hear some doors close and open and so forth. 
You'll even hear the occasional sound of a toilet flush. And again, every one of these sounds has its own volume control, so you can customize the decoder to match the model. So for example, if you do not have dynamic brakes on a locomotive, you can actually set the dynamic brake volume to zero so that the performance of the locomotive will match that in a consist of other locomotives with dynamic brakes. So again, you get that more realistic sound effect. Now one of the last features I'm going to talk about briefly is what's known as our dynamic digital exhaust. Now the dynamic digital exhaust allows us to allow the decoder to read the load on the motor and adjust the sound accordingly of the prime mover. So you're going to hear it notch up, you're going to hear it gradually gain some intensity as the diesel engine's working harder, and then you'll hear it notch up. Now at this moment in time, this locomotive has no momentum. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward at about speed step three. You'll hear the diesel engine notch up a little bit, but when I put my hand in front of here to stop the locomotive, now you're actually hearing that diesel engine notching up and getting louder. And then when I release, you hear it start dropping as it goes back to idle. Now again, all of these sound effects are fully customizable. You can match the decoder to match your model that you've installed. Now again, with over 25 different sound effects in our diesel decoders, you can find the sounds that will match your model. So now that you see some of the reasons why, I encourage you to check out our webinar series, webinar number 10 for a closer dive into our steam locomotives, and webinar number 11 for a deeper dive into all the other sounds on our diesel locomotives. And this will talk about how to set it up, what the CV numbers are and how to look at them, and how to adjust. Now using those in conjunction with the webinars and the user's guide will really help give you the mastery over the decoder so that that way you can get your locomotive set up the way you want them to and we've given you all the tools there and it explains all of that in full detail. So guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to leave a comment if you like this video or if you have any other suggestions on other tips and maybe some videos you'd like to see in the future. So guys, thanks for watching, and if you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at soundtracks.com.